Well, we didn't get off to the start we wanted. Um, but this is college wrestling at this level. I mean, the depth of quality is great. Uh, you saw it even in the extra matches when guys like Connor Manderfeld, four-time state place winners, kids with all sorts of athleticism are wrestling guys that are two-time state finalists, you know, from, from great states, battling as number twos. But, uh, you know, uh, Lundsman, uh, we know that a lot of guys are gonna try to slow us down. Uh, same thing kind of happened with Han. Lundsman gets the, the takedown and sudden victory, you know. Han gets in a tiebreaker situation. So, um, you know, those were, you know, we know those are gonna happen. We're gonna have to persevere through those tight goes. Uh, you know, 74 obviously with Myron, you know, we gotta figure that out. He works way too dang hard, uh, you know, not to be able to give an effort like he needs to for seven minutes and what he's capable of. So we got a couple things to figure out there. And 25, Arroyo's tough for them. That was our other loss. Uh, Anderlich, our, our redshirt freshman though, stayed in the match, um, had some great opportunities to keep it tight. But then I thought the rest of the guys, like Donnie Schmidt, you know, answering the bell and really looking like the Donnie that, that we know he can be. Uh, Tate Murdy getting the major, um, I thought was great at 41. And Eric fought making his, you know, varsity debut, so to speak. Uh, tonight against a kid that's been around the block and, and can compete and Eric, you know, getting that major and looking sharp. So, um, you know, we saw some good things there. You know, Zach Rigg getting the W as that redshirt freshman at 97 in a controlled fashion. And then Jordan Balmer, you know, has now picked up another win and he's learning how to win those tight matches. So, you know, we're, we're building, uh, we're making jumps week by week, but, um, you know, we're, we're greedy and, and we want to be uh, ahead of where we are, always. Yeah, well, it started there with Connor Manerfeld at 141, and those are high-end kids getting at it. And, you know, so for Connor to wrestle a little bit freer, um, that was awesome. You know, I could talk about all the results, but really these extra matches, right? And that's what they're called because they count on their official record forms and their legit matches. And without the opens, um, all those matches uh, not being, you know, in November, and December, where their, their match counts would be 20, 30 plus right now. Uh, they're critical. They're critical for these guys. They go in the practice room every day um, to train and, and they're trying to be the frontline guy, but if they're not, it sure is nice for an opportunity to get out there and compete and showcase your talents. And so we're grateful that uh, Parkside wanted to bring seven extra guys to compete. And of course we had at least seven ready to go and um, we really like what's going on. I, I don't know if we lost any of those extra matches. I don't think we did. And you know, so those guys are hungry to compete. Well, we're just really taking it day by day, workout by workout, uh, trying to get better 1% every day on the mat. Um, we all have gains to make. We all have some areas that we need to keep working on to improve, um, and we need to keep honing our, our, our you know, skill sets that are producing points. Um, so we're not putting the cart in front of the horse. We're really taking it day by day. We know we got a couple dual meets left uh, against Augustana and St. Cloud. But really, other than that, you know, we've been focused, locked in on getting ready for Parkside. Now we're going to shift gears here and get ready for our next opponent, which is Augustana. Nice little carry again, a fireman's carry there by Shams, and he's going to get some near fall here. Not sure how they're going to allot tickets for that if they get some. Interesting <laughs> position. You're just a, unable to. Great job there, and he got the reversal right at the. It's three times he's been in on that leg. And he's lost it all three times. And there's a lateral drop attempt by Umar. And Spots has. A couple times already this year. Nice little sprawl into like a low. I really like that either. Yeah. These, uh, these kids. They deserve. Oh, nice little scramble there. And it's going to end up in a possible false. Oh, can he get a takedown? You said yes. We'll see if he can. He, he, got he does. He gets the takedown. Boy, he worked for that. He awesome. Yeah, you'd, you'd love to see a program bring it back like that. Yeah. There it is. Two point reversal. Well, it says Adrian Cervantes. Excuse me, I don't think that's correct who he's wrestling. Small here. improvements. He's putting weight back on the head. And there it is. He's going to get it on the edge. Good job, Bodie. Yeah, I would have liked to think sticking with it through the 20s probably would have been different, but hindsight's 2020. Leg there by. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Max spot. If he can sink the leg in right here again, he's going to have a takedown. And there it is. And he's, he's looking up to the half, and I think he's going to get in this meet with a fall, hopefully. 
There it is. Nice right. job, Bodie Garner.